Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Uh, this video here is a tutorial on how to replace a MacBook Air late 2018. The MacBook model um, is right here. It says A1932. So I'll be showing you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace a cracked screen. So let's get started. You need to remove all the screw at the bottom. And the screws are pantaloupe screws. I will have the tools in the description below. If you feel like following the tutorial and replace your cracked screen. Um, I hope the tools that I listed below can help you with the step-by-step uh, the -step here with the video. So let's go ahead and remove all the screws. Okay, once you have all the screws removed, the next thing you need to do is just kind of like pry open the back plate. Once you have the back plate removed, um, so the next step you need to do is to make sure you remove or disconnect the uh, the battery connector okay once you have the battery connector removed let's move on to the next step as you can see uh, there's a bracket holding the wi-fi antenna so the two screws are here Make sure you have the screws um, arranged properly on the side. So when you put them back together, you're not getting confused with that. Uh, get a plastic pry tool, gently and remove the Wi-Fi cable. Just kind of pop right open. Okay, so now once you have that taking care of the next thing I'll be doing is just to kind of remove all the screws here on the top so I kind of go along with you real quick so the two screws here on both sides right and then there are two screws with the bracket holding on to a one flexi cable uh, the two screws and a bracket holding the second flexi cable as you can see there's these big screws that's holding on to the uh, the LCD um, controller okay and then lastly there are two more screws here that holds with a bracket that holds onto a flex cable as well so go ahead and remove all this make sure you have the screw aligned and arranged properly because the screws are not the same sizes okay make sure you're not mix and match those screws Okay, there's two screws here, like I said, holds on to this bracket. So you have to put it on the side. And this bigger screw here is to hold on to the LCD controller board. So put that on the side. I'm working on the next uh, bracket here now. The screen replacement is not that difficult. Um, but of course it's not easy as well so just take your time and if you need to go back and um, and rewatch it again this you can so again this is the uh, the bigger screw okay there's two more screws to go Okay, at this point here, you can use a fingernail. Go ahead and get up in the, uh, the flex cable. So there are three bracket, right? That holds onto the flex cable. So go ahead and disconnect them. 
once you have the disconnected as you can see this is the LCD controller board so it is free now so this metal bracket here is for the Wi-Fi right we still have two more screws here on the side go ahead and remove them sorry about my screwdriver this thing is making the noise I need a new one but as for now let's continue okay so I'm pretty much get everything uh, disconnected at this point and again uh, this is the Wi-Fi is it is somewhat that they make it that they press it down real hard so when you remove this you need to put some pressure to remove it uh, it's not as easy as you're watching this uh, what I'm trying to say is they have this uh, metal here and this metal is like a push-in metal so they kind of push it in and lock it here so for you to remove it you need to put a little bit pressure pull outwards so pull towards the sky so leave it up like this uh, you need to put some pressure on it so I would wiggle on a side side to side until it get loose and just remove it okay so again the LCD controller go in between right so it's like that and then you just have to wiggle your way out put some pressure until you get loose on this one all right so that is good to go the next step we need to do is to remove six screws here and these screws are holding the hinge on the LCD so what I like to do is I remove two screws on both sides okay at this point here I will get the screw into a 90 de degree angle like this okay and then come back and remove that last screw okay there's a reason why I give it to the 90 degree angle because if you have that in a 90 degree angle then the hinges it's a lot easier to come come out so the wiggle 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 you have the screen on one side is loose now right you wiggle 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 in a 90 degree angle come back around same thing here just wiggle all right so when you have the uh, the hinge it's kind of hard for me to show you because the, the, the way I angle my camera but if, once you have that thing 90 degree angle like this okay so you can easily have the screen slide into an angle like that so you can just remove it easily okay so this is the crack screen um, it's good to go oh well we don't need that anymore and here's the new screen I will have the new screen uh, where you can buy it from in the description below so the first thing you need to do is like I said uh, get the hinge 
face about 90 degree angle again on both sides okay now you can easily slide it in You want to come back and do on the other side. Okay, once you have the both sides ready to go, you want to come back. And put one screw in first on each on each side of the hinge so that you can close it and continue working okay trying to get one here here one screw here one screw on this side Okay, now I can just easily close the screen. All right. Okay, there we go. It's very good. Now you can come back and finish the rest of the screws. Both sides on the hinge. okay so once that's done now what we need to do now is to get the wi-fi um antenna sticking back in so make sure you have the lcd controller go in between that And right here is the metal bracket where you can press it on. Put some pressure on it, press it real tight. So it goes back onto the metal. Okay, that looks good to me. Now go ahead and put the two screws that holds on to the LCD controller. Okay, now you have that, go ahead and install that flex cable, push it in, make sure it's real tight. Okay, now you can do the two screws that holds onto the antenna and the two screws on the other side.
Okay, once I have that done, now I'm just going to close out the bracket. This is for the middle piece. And this is the final piece right here. Okay, so I have all that in place. Make sure you get your Wi Fi back on. So put it back in. Okay, that goes in real good. The bracket, two screws. Okay, that looks good. And finally, your battery. So get the connector back on. Push it all the way in. Put the tape back on. And you're almost there. So put the back plate. And all the screws back on to the back plate. And turn it on and give that a try. So I'm just gonna leave you to do the rest of the, uh, the screw for the back plate. And I'm going to stop the video here. So um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I hope this tutorial helps you or give you some sort of guidance on how to replace um, a MacBook Air late 2018. And the model here is A1932. Uh, so thanks for watching and I hope you like the video. So have a good day and always until next time.